Sierra Vista is a small community that has a military base here. Fort Huachuca, which is a big communications hub for the Army. Um, we also pull some from local law enforcement, Border Patrol. So we have things like Tombstone. It's famous Tombstone, uh, Wild Wild West Cowboys. We are probably 20 minutes away from the border. Sierra Vista Unified School District has eight schools and we service about 4,500 students. Um, we offered uh, 21 different sports. Yeah. Go, go, go! It is unexpected. You don't expect to have kind of like a Megatron-ish kind of thing in your gym. My name is Ariella Antman. It's so exciting. I think it's we're really evolving like as a school. So Cole is starting a student athletic leadership team. Compiled of 13 different kids, matched in different areas, doing a rotation throughout the year. For that game day experience so that kids can start getting that real world work on what it is to have game break productions so that they can then maybe partner with our state universities, find a career that maybe they weren't even thinking of because they have this opportunity here. I mean, I plan to work in sports, so I think a lot of what I learned, whether I decide to go into like the management portion or like the media side, I believe that I could learn a lot um, with the class. Well, their resumes usually consist of well, I did community service. I played on a sports team. Having worked here, they can now put that directly on a resume. When they leave, that might help them get into more prestige colleges, quicker job offers, internship opportunities. They'll be helping creating a game day design for football, volleyball, uh, any sports that we use video board for. So like pre-game stuff to get people like excited for these, for these events. We have a strong commitment to excellence. Fair play. And above all, good sportsmanship. As member schools of the Arizona Interscholastic Association, we would like to remind you. The objectives of educational-based athletics are what set this event apart from all other levels of competition. Go Colts! I haven't seen it at any other schools before, which is cool. Makes it another wow factor. These are kind of the things that you see in colleges. Um, college teams, professional teams. We played with the one out on the football field for graduation and that was a big hit. Um, and we were able to do some really cool senior shout outs. Mayor, police chief, fire chief, who happens to all be Buena alum, we had graduation, um, congratulation messages up on the board. And it's your time to go change the world. Go Colts! We also were able to purchase new marquees for all of our schools and our district office. There's already been a big impact on getting parent messages. So a couple of weeks ago there was a fire um, and here at Buena High School we actually are turned into a Red Cross shelter and I was able to utilize those marquees to be able to direct people to the shelter. They can pull up an app on their phone, type in what they need to, automatically displays. The sponsorships for the marquees also get digital content that's shared on all nine of our marquees. Our community is really starting to see the value. That's nine signs that are nowhere near your business that you're getting and supporting our students. If we have the resources, why not try to make it the best that you can? Why not try to model it after different colleges or, or things like that? Let's move school from sitting in that chair, reading a book, to hands-on, in the field, how do we apply it to daily life?